What is the company all about? Sure. The company is a service company building open source technologies for customers. So we use open source to create products, tools, and basically things that help our customers move faster when they're creating physical devices. It's all sorts of edge AI stuff. Uh, it could be robots, drones, uh, agricultural devices, um, space satellites, uh, cars. Uh, so anything that has some kind of intelligence embedded inside, especially if it's advanced intelligence. What role is Zephyr playing in your technology stack or the services solutions that you offer to you know, a wide range of solutions there? Zephyr is one of the key technologies because um, Zephyr likes to say about itself that it fits anywhere that Linux doesn't. And since Linux is kind of also a key technology for us, it, we cover you know, a lot of the higher end devices with, with that operating system. Naturally, uh, everything that cannot run Linux or for some reason requires uh, some kind of real-time operating system uh, will be running Zephyr most of the time when, if we're to decide, right? It doesn't mean we only work with Zephyr. We, work with a lot of different kinds of operating systems. But certainly, Zephyr is the go-to operating system for us. And the reason for that is its vendor neutrality. It's a kind of uh, Linux-like you know, development methodology, uh, its structure. There's, there's many aspects of Zephyr that kind of fit very well into how we see systems as uh, you know, portable, reusable, modular, uh, much like Renode, the open source simulation framework that we're developing. You know, uh, a lot of the Mm, uh, thoughts that go into structuring how Zephyr is uh, and how it's built uh, are shared between other technologies that we build and use. So Zephyr is kind of a, a natural choice for wherever Linux isn't a good fit. Mm -hmm.